One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 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 So what is your two questions? Just My like... first question is... Uh, um, gliela faccio in italiano o gliela faccio in... Gliela in inglese e poi me la fai come stand up in italiano. Ok. Ma gliel'ho già detta in inglese. Ok. The Israeli leadership and many analysts think that Iran is a threat not only to the Jewish state but to the entire world. But many of the people we interviewed here in Israel, in the street, in the coffee shops... They said that they don't really think Iran is a threat. What do you think about it? I think that Iran is a threat mainly to the Arab countries, to Saudi, to the, prince, the, 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 the little states of the Gulf there, because by having an atomic bomb, they can uh, oblige them to um, go according to their policy, and especially the questions of oil, because this is the center of the oil or production of the world, so it can be very dangerous for them. I, I think also, and I have to say, that Iran is going to, to make an atomic bomb because they are afraid that the United States can jump on them as they jump on Iraq for uh, oil, for things, saying some um, uh, other things. So they want to warn the United States that they cannot repeat a kind of a war against Iran, Iraq, as they have done against Iraq, to rebuild nation, yes, as they say, to build nation or to bring democracy there. But uh, uh, the way in which uh, the president of Iran is speaking about Israel is, is unacceptable, unacceptable. And of course, the world has to take the Iran problem in his hands. There are enough uh, means of sanctions that can put on Iran to stop the uh, uh, production of the nuclear weapon. I think that till now they have not done the West and even the, Un the Soviet Union, who has to be afraid of Iran in the, on their way, because Iran is connected to so many uh, Muslim countries that were in the ex-Soviet Union. So I think that all this world can have, have enough power to put on Iran a section that they would not continue to do. But it is not our business. It means we have to join the other countries, but it is not our business, in my opinion, to go and to bomb Iran. Because this will make a very terrible active enemy. Because they are not their enemy, but they are not an active enemy. As they can be an active enemy with a sense of revenge for century. So we have, this is not our business, we have to pursue the world, to take action, but we don't have to send our airplanes to attack the nuclear uh, uh, installation. Abraham Yeshua. I changed the, the point of view for the second question. Giuliano? No, no, è stato così, devo lui ti parla perché devo... No. I want to finish with the... Per il piano. Posso? Abraham Yeshua, what can we do to avoid war, taking into account that Iran has a very strong civil society? We have to avoid war, but we have to put sanctions. And I say, from the point of view of Israel, this is not an Hitler, because they don't have the power of Hitler. They know very well that Israel can destroy also Iran. So they cannot speak, the, uh, their threat is very limited. And I don't think we have to be the first to involve in this war. Sanction will be sufficient, and I think that the Iranians themselves uh, we have to take on account that the regime in Iran is not popular uh, everywhere, that there are also opposition in Iran, a very strong opposition, not an active opposition, but a hard opposition. 
And uh, my feeling is that uh, uh, we, we can do exercise of aeroplanes here and there, but to send the Israeli aeroplanes, it means an enduring war for a long, long time with the Hezbollah, with the Hamas, and we are now in process of calming the region and not to put more fire in the region. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tieni lo così. We just talk a little bit. You were what you were you were saying about uh, uh, Iranian cinema. What do you know about Iran? Have you been? Uh, no, we we have not been in Iran. Of course. I have a friend, a very dear friend, who was a uh, was minister and was uh, now uh, after was a member of the parliament, who was going to run for two years when there was the earthquake there. Mm -hmm. In the, I don't know what was the name of the area in mm. which there was an earthquake. And he was coming with the whole de Israeli delegation and was working to rescue the, the, the and to, to, to help them in the rescue uh, efforts. And he also got from the Shah mm. a kind of a medal about his... Uh, and there were a lot of Israelis there for a long time, until 77 when Khomeini was coming. Perhaps we have been too much involved in Iran, in the secret services, etc. Yeah. This we don't have to do. We have to go to agriculture, we have to do to help people in education, in other fields, but not in uh, secret services. Thank you.